today is really hot. I'm very thirsty. Let's have a rest and buy some drinks. It's on you. Okay, let's go. It's not true. I tell you why. Hey, you play so well. Let's play this time. I have water and sports drink. Which one do you prefer? Let's drink the water. So, I want sports drinks. Why do you choose sports drinks? Let's watch the video. Why should we drink sports drinks while than pure water when we lost a lot of water content of our body? Before we find out the answers, we should know two things. Firstly, the meaning of water potential. And secondly, how the kidney works. Water potential is the tendency of water molecules to move from one place to another. Water molecules always move from a region of high water potential to a region of low water potential. That means it moves from a hypotonic solution, which is a more dilute solution, to a hypertonic solution, a more concentrated solution across a semi-permeable membrane. Next, consider how the kidney works to produce urine. First of all, our kidney is formed by millions of functional tubules called nipple. When the blood goes through, we know artery. The artery goes into the kidney. It enters afferent arterial and then the glomerulus, which is a ball-shaped capillary network surrounded by Bowman's capsule. Under high hydrostatic pressure, the liquid portion of the blood is forced to pass through the wall of capillary to the Bowman's capsule to form a liquid called glomerulus filtrate. It contains water, mineral salts, amino acids, glucose, urea, and other substances which are similar to tissue fruit. The process of formation of glomerular filtrate is called ultrafiltration. Then, the glomerulus filtrate will pass through the first called tubule. The reabsorption will take place here. Substances in glomerulus filtrate are reabsorbed back into the blood capillaries around the tubule by passive diffusion and active transport. Amino acid and glucose in the tubule are reabsorbed completely. Most of the water and salts are also reabsorbed. Most urea is excreted as urine. Afterward, the glomerular future will pass through the loop of hand, which is a U-shaped tube. A process called secretion will take place here. Cells in the wall of the loop of hand actively secrete mineral salts from the glomerular future to the surrounding tissue food. The remaining portion in the glomerular future then passes to the second called tube and collected dust. An increase its concentration. Water in the urine in collected dirt is reabsorbed by diffusion to the increasing concentration of the surrounding tissue food and then enters the surrounding blood capillaries. Hypertonic urine is formed and passes to the pelvis. And what happens when we drink water and sport drinks after exercise? In this part, we should consider the water potential balance in our body. Since the distilled water has a high water potential, drinking a large amount of distilled water in a short period of time will increase both volume and water potential of our blood at the same time. The increase in the volume of blood will finally cause the amount of glomerular filtrate formed to increase. At the same time, the osmoreceptor in the hypothalamus detects the increase in water potential in blood after drinking distilled water. It will cause the pituitary glands in the pituitary body in the brain to produce less amount of hormone called antidiuretic hormone. Antidiuretic hormone has the effect to make the collecting dust in the kidney to become less permeable to water, resulting that less water can be reabsorbed from the filtrate at the collecting dust back to the body and produce a larger amount of urine. Eventually, instead of getting water, the amount of water lost in the body will be even more than before. On the other hand, since the sport drinks normally have a water potential which is similar to the blood, this provides a net gain in volume of blood component. After drinking them, the water potential of the blood will not change too much as compared to the before. The osmoid receptor in hypothalamus did not detect too much changes. Therefore, the antidiuretic hormone secretion will not be decreased much as compared to the case of drinking distilled water. Consequently, the permeability of water in collecting dirt is long, 
and the water can be reabsorbed back to the body instead of losing urine. The water potential in the body can now be kept in balance in order to maintain the normal functioning of cell in, without losing too much water in the urine. In fact, our body loses a lot of source food strength. The functioning of cells will be affected if we don't have enough salt. After sweating a lot, drinking spent drinks which contain more salt than pure water may waste back the minimum quantity in our body spent. Therefore, sport drinks can replenish water and salt to maintain water potential in our body and our cells can work well steadily under a constant osmotic environment. So now we understand the principle of osmoregulation. Remember to have sports strength after doing exercise. Yes, it is to prevent excessive water loss of our body. 